<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. Courage to change. And you are loved. Yes, you are. We're doing our reading for February 14th. And I started my healing journey after the loss of another family member due to addiction. And it's not easy. All you want to do is help and and you know you can't. Our readings are to help us, those that are affected by a family member or friends, to find comfort in supporting yourself, taking care of yourself, being who you're supposed to be. And be strong. Be strong. It's not easy. I know the, uh, the pain and the suffering is real. That's real. What we can do is take care of ourselves. And this is our reading for February 14th. Confusion can be a gift from God. Looking back on instances that I felt desperately in need of an immediate solution, I can see that often I wasn't ready to act. When I became fully ready, the information I needed was there for the taking. When I know too much about my options before the time is right to exercise those options, I tend to use the information only to drive myself crazy. That's why today, when I am feeling confused, I try to consider it grace. It may not yet be time for me to act. I think that dealing with confusion can be like cooking. If the bread isn't done, I don't take it out of the oven and insist that it's time to eat. I let it finish baking. If a clear solution to a problem hasn't shown itself yet, I can trust that it will appear when the time is right. Today's reminder, I will thank my higher power for whatever experience today, whatever I experience today, even if I feel troubled or confused. I know that every experience can offer me a gift. All I have to do is be willing to look at my situation in the light of gratitude. And our quote is from Helen Keller. Everything has its wonders, even darkness and silence. And I learn whatever state I may be in, therein to be content. Confusion, paralyzed by confusion, not sure what's happening, not sure if you should act or not act. I love how they brought up the uh, analogy of the bread. We don't take the bread out or the pie or the cake too early because it's not done. And to look at confusion as grace. Maybe it's just a time to take a time out. Take a breath. Take a big deep breath and allow the confusion to pass. It is okay to feel confused. It's just how we react to it. We may not be reacting very well. <laughs> I know I haven't. I haven't acted well in the act of confusion, just wishing to have answers. Sometimes we just need to sit and wait and practice patience. That this too shall pass or this too shall bring answers.
take a moment. If you're feeling confused, take a moment and sit down. And let it pass. Let it pass. It's okay. And when in doubt, think of the bread. You don't want to take it out too early. Maybe you're just not meant to have the answer quite yet, but it'll come. You'll get the answer, and that's okay. Don't force it. We get too caught up in forcing things. We don't need to force it. We just need to relax. And to really feel content, right, in any situation. To feel like, oh, okay, I'm confused, and feel content with that. Well, that's going to be something to practice. And my best advice is take a breath. This is our reading for February 14th. And as an also reminder that you are loved. You are.